Hi, uh, my name is Yunlong Liu. Uh, I'm a professor in the Department of Medical and Molecular Genetics. Uh, I direct the Center for Computational Biology and Bioinformatics, or CCBB, and also the Center for Medical Genomics, which is CMG, that is uh, one of the sequencing core facilities uh, in the central Indiana. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, that several faculty members from the CCBB decided to uh, broaden our educational activity to have a short course modules that will uh, train the biologist about some basic knowledge of bioinformatics. So we're naming this course series as the elements of bioinformatics for biologists. So before I get into the detail, I want to first go through the logistics a little bit. Uh, the format of the course is uh, a little bit different from the traditional teaching activity. Rather, we will try to record a series of video modules that is short, normally five to 15 minutes each, that's our plan, and that will include a combination of teaching and hopefully some of the hands-on activities. During this COVID-19 break or hibernation, that we will plan to meet once a week, or Q&A, and each week we'll cover a specific topic with several video modules together. Uh, we will hope that uh, uh, you guys will have the opportunity to review the videos before we enter the Q&A session so we can have a more productive discussion. This slide shows uh, all the instructors uh, and my name is Yunlong Liu, and we'll have Dr. Quinn Huang, who is a professor in medicine, and Dr. Jun Wan, assistant professor of uh, for medical and molecular genetics, and he also directed the cancer bioinformatics core at IU Medical School. Dr. Chi Zhang is assistant professor in medical genetics, and Dr. Li Chen is an assistant professor in uh, medicine. Uh, throughout the lecture series, we will also invite some of the guest lecturers and to attend our series and to record uh, uh, the modules as well. So the cost objective of this is uh, really trying to establish some basic bioinformatics analysis concept. So our goal is not to teach everybody become a solid bioinformatician, rather to give you some of the basic understanding of the bioinformatics analysis and some of the exposure on hands-on analysis. For me, the most fruitful outcome of this practice will be giving you the opportunity as well as the experience to effectively communicate with bioinformatics regarding the data analysis and the, your experimental designs. So this is our current plan. Uh, of course, we will change, we'll add in new topics potentially, uh, and uh, as well as uh, uh, getting a more serious set up. But the current plan the topic will be including the NGS basics, the RNA sequencing data analysis, the visualization, including genome browser integrated genome viewers. So giving you the opportunity to be able to visualize the high throughput sequencing data you will generate. And we want you to have some basic understanding of the pathway of functional analysis that will include David, top gene, GSEA or gene set enrichment analysis or ingenuity pathway analysis. And uh, we want to explain some of the public domain resources, including the GEO database or gene expression omnibus, as well as the CBAL portal. And, uh, and also the chip seek attack seek is an important topic and towards the end, I will give some very basic lectures about the single cell basics. That's all the plan that we have. Hopefully that uh, we will make something useful so that you can uh, take advantage during this uh, uh, COVID hibernation at home. Uh, we look forward to interacting with you. Thank you.